Get your Abby's Outlet Outfit Squad merch shirt in pink and blue on the Outfit Squad group on Roblox.com. Hey everybody, it's Abby. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So today I'm going to be showcasing you and showing you guys my diamond farming routine. And I also put in a title, title up above how to get 100k diamonds in under like a month or a few weeks. At the time of recording this, I'm not sure what I'm going to put up above, but it's going to be very quick. You're going to get 100k diamonds very quickly with this routine. I really recommend this routine if you, I don't know, don't have a step-by-step -step way of doing things. So I'm going to show you guys in this video. And yeah, how do you even get 100k obviously i don't have 100k diamonds right now because i've been spending it on things and i haven't been saving up lately which i probably will because of something i'm going to be discussing in fervor in the video but yeah that's i'm just going to be showing you guys my routine and what i do and i really hope you guys enjoyed before we get into the video don't forget to smash that like button down below it shows me i'm doing the right thing with my channel and it helps support me and stuff also comment down below if you have any want to comment down below anything and subscribe to the channel to join the outfit squad but guys, without a further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so the first thing I do is I head up to the apartments, my apartment especially, and before I, show, before I show you guys what I really do, let me show you guys what's happening right now. I did show this guys, I should show you guys this in my community tab, and a spring cherry blossom set has finally come out of Royal High. I saw many leaks of it, it's finally out, and here it is, we have some sandals, a hand fan, which I'm really excited to get, um, the hairpins and the bl and the back bow, which is really really cute. Um, it's also leaked that there will be more things coming to this set. So these aren't this is just not the only set. There will be more things coming out, which is very very exciting. And this is a thing that um, I'm going to be saving up for using my routine, especially. And it seems like you guys might need some tips too. So I'm going to be telling you some tips as well. As you can see, right under "Welcome to the Shop" sign over there, my diamonds are very low because I've been spending stuff. But the highest I've gotten was almost to 100k just by doing this routine consistently but okay let me just show you guys oh well i don't have i don't know how i got my phone <laughs> but let's just show you guys what i do first so every morning or every day that i come into real high i definitely definitely well i used to uh, or i still do um i checked my uh computer for my daily login rewards so i get 100 because i haven't been being consistent with this but i do that um a lot and that's what i also do uh the next thing i do is i go to the bed and level up so as you can see guys i have multiplier and multi multiplier kind of lets me take advantage of leveling up because it's not make it doesn't make you level up faster it's just when you level up you get more diamonds that way i get 600 diamonds from just using multiplier so if um i don't know if you guys know i made the game pass video and in this game pass video i showed you guys all the game passes i recommend i definitely recommend the multiplier because in this day and age in royal high i feel like a multiplier is kind of essential if you want to save up to 100k diamonds very quickly if you know what i mean okay so i'm gonna press sleep because i sleep okay i'm at zero percent um after this i'm sure when i get to 100 percent, i'm probably gonna level up but let's just uh speed up speed this up and i will come back to you guys when i just reach 100 percent. okay guys so i just hit 100 percent, so i'm gonna jump up now and there it is uh level up bonus 600 diamonds so without the multiplier you can only get 300 diamonds by leveling up but with the multiplier i got 600 and if you get the multiplier that that's like the double and the triple it gives you 1600 i think um but that's what you get you get more as you get the multiplier game passes or both of them or only one of them which i only have one of them right now but yes, that's what I do. And the best thing about this, guys, is that you don't even need to go to your apartment just to level up. You can level up in the trading hub if you're trading, because most people are trading right now in the trading hub or maybe in Santa Island. But most people aren't trading up right now. There's a good, there is a, like a spot in the trading hub where you guys can sleep and you can level up that way. Um, and also here too, so the apartment and the trading hub are two places you can do this. That's all I know so far. I'm not sure if I have any other realms. I'm sure in Royal High School you cannot do this and it, it doesn't work in real high school but in apartments and the trading hub you can do it so that is good news as well so yeah after i level up basically um i go to sunset island next and um, i'm gonna go there right now so i can show you guys what i do i'm not gonna play around because it takes obviously very long to do so 
But I'm going to be showing you guys where I what I do in the rounds, my tips and tricks of how to at least get third place in different rounds in Sunset Island and stuff like that. So let's just head on to Sunset Island so I can give you guys a tip. Okay guys, so we're in Sunset Island right now. And the first thing I do is I obviously get off from the boat and walk up here. And I sign my name in the Royal High Universe pageant. So let me just sign my name right there. And then I put in... Any random name, I could just put like, I don't know, Miss Star Starden. Yeah, I'll just use that. Um, but yeah, I put that up. Obviously, in the private server, so there isn't a round going on. But yeah, guys, I do have a video, actually, showing you guys my pageant themes, like pageant theme idea outfits. That did pretty well. You guys seem to like it. So if you want to know what, um, I don't know, outfits I wear for the pageant and what makes me win, I definitely recommend you checking out my outfit video. I'll put it up in the iCard right there. Um, to game, the Game Pass and the, um, uh, you know, outfit pageant video, I put it up in the iCard and you guys can check that out. Those are my winning outfits, the ones that make me win most of the time. So I do recommend you guys checking that out. But yeah, I definitely just like change whatever it is, like orange or glad. And the best tip I have for you guys to win is just make everything extra when you wear when you're like an extra and you if your outfit's not really like you know bold and interesting it's very casual and kind of low-key then not a lot of people are going to notice it therefore no one's going to give you a rose but if you wear something that's very outrageous hopefully something glowing something big something poofy a lot of people are going to see that as very attractive and they're going to give you a rose for that so if it's orange you glad wear a nice miss lady rose dress with nice poofy sleeves that is very and look just look your best girl look extra and look your best look like you're going to the met gala slash the oscars every single round and if it's like something if it's casual wear if it's like a casual wear kind of um i don't know theme like a uh, gender bent you know you have to if you're a girl you have to be a boy or yeah if you're a girl you have to be a boy and most of us are girls in royal high um it really it just depends but um if you're a girl trying to be a boy and, you're, and boys you know you're thinking you want to wear something casual if your boy costume then make sure you at least look the part you know, if it's something casual, but look the part. If it's something that you can just do whatever, freestyle, whatever. Especially if it's freestyle. If it's freestyle, do something that, that is so extra. People just love it. They'll just love it. Have an attitude. Be friendly to people. Be very nice because no one wants to vote for someone that's, like, not nice. Be really nice to people. And just wear your best. That's my best tip with, come, with um, I don't know, placing third, second, first. Um, that's my best thing. And even if you don't place those places, I still recommend going to Sunset Island for diamond farming because it's also good because you also still get 200 diamonds even if you don't get a place in the contest, which is fine. And you still level up too. So even if you get the multiplier and you also got the $200, that's additional diamonds as well. So I do recommend the Sunset Island apart, you know, that's... I really, really recommend it. It's really, really nice. And that's another thing for my diamond farming routine. So the last thing for my routine, guys, is going back to Earth. And I'm going to be farming for diamonds there. Now, I do recommend some tips when we go to Earth. I'm going to tell you guys in a second after <laughs> this jump cut. But I do have some tips there when it comes to diamond farming on Earth and different, like, realms as well. So let's go to Earth. Okay, guys. So we are back on Earth. And I'm going to be showing you guys the last thing in my diamond farming routine. And it's to basically collect diamonds. Now, let me give you a little bit of a diamond legend. So I told you guys so many of my videos that the green diamonds and the red ones contain the most. If you get the... See, I just got 20 diamonds right now from a green one and 40 diamonds from a red one. Um, but, yeah... Literally, yeah, the, the yellow ones are also good too, but they don't give you as much as um, the green ones and the red ones. So I would say recommend you guys looking out for those ones. Also, be in a private server if you have one, because in the private server, you get more access to many more diamonds than going on a public server, because everyone's looking for diamonds. But with this one, you guys can just, like, you have a whole spree of diamonds. So I do recommend that, just go on the private server as well. And also, guys, make sure you also run as well when you get these diamonds, because it's, it's also cool. And the realms, I, the realms, I recommend you guys, uh, actually, diamond farming is in Tantrix High, also Royal High School. School, there are some places that are also very very good for getting good uh, diamonds there's a red diamond um in like the a little tent that you guys can find up the hill um and also so many other places like in enchantrix high behind like the pool area uh so yeah there are so many 
like so many places you guys can get some good diamonds oops <laughs> i just crashed a tr in a, a tree whoops <laughs> but yeah there are so many good places you can get good diamonds and again guys the red ones and the green ones look out for those ones with my multiplier i got 40 diamonds with the red ones and 20 with the green ones so i did get doubles so i'm sure you get a lot with the with, without a multiplier but with the game pass that i really recommend with my diamond farming routine that really has helped me is the I have the only one game pass for multiplier and it's 200 it's a 200 diamond double diamond I guess yeah you get like 600 no not 200 you get like two like two times multiplier like the double multiplier um but I don't have the triple one yet but I have the double one I do recommend that one for starting out uh so maybe get that one too but yeah that's my advice as well I don't see much right now because I just um joined the server but it will come soon. So after I just do this, I'll go back to Santa Island and level up again and so forth. So that's basically my routine, everybody. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really wish you luck on getting the new set, the new Cherry Blossom set. I can't wait to review it when I get it. And um, I'm, I might make a diamond farming video, including the set. So I might just say, oh, how to get this set in under a day, like I did with the Enchanting Heirloom set that really that did really well on my channel. So I may, like, might make a spinoff of that. What do you guys think about that? Tell me in the comments down below. Also, tell me in the comments down below, what is your diamond farming routine? Because I want to know if sounds really interesting to read and i'll read all of your comments guys so tell me in the comments down below what you think is your what like i don't know what's your diamond farming routine that works for you because it really varies on a person so what's your diamond farming routine also guys don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new we are so 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 close to my goal very soon 15k so i really want to make that happen happen so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching but until then to the next video Thank you for making up with me, everybody. Bye-bye!